Winter is chugging along, we have a new old queen, a dead king, and a fleet of ships accompanied by dragons heading your way. Just like always, spoilers ahead. You're watching This Week on Game of Thrones with John Pilchard. Jon Snow has been made the new King of the North after the defeat of House Bolton as he reclaims what is rightfully his. He's a new contender for the throne. Cersei wipes out legions of characters to take back what she believes is hers. The High Sparrow and the Tyrells are no more thanks to a whole keep full of wildfire. This in turn leads her last son Tommen to end his own life and the Red Witch's prophecy has come to fruition. Beware a Cersei that has no more children. She has nothing to fear, nothing to lose, and everything to take. She has reached full monster form. She now sits on the Iron Throne and it's going to take at least a legion of ships and three dragons to take her down. The unstoppable alliance of Tyrion, Daenerys, the Eunuch, the Greyjoys, and now the Martells are on their way to claim the throne in what was probably the best few shots of the entire season. So let's just take a second to appreciate this shot. Oh yeah. Look at it. This finale has had one of the best setups for the next season. I mean, it's really happening. Daenerys is crossing the narrow sea. We actually have a narrow list of contenders for the throne. Arya got her revenge and we found out Jon Snow's lineage. Overall, the second best episode of the season because nothing will top the Battle of the Bastards. Tune in on Sunday and catch us next May for your season seven recap. Stay tuned to NewStation.com on the App Store, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter for what to watch.